90 years ago, mankind found a way to make magnets. And Japanese inventors shone brightly in the history of its development. The first artificial magnet was invented in 1917. It was invented by Dr. Kotaru Honda of Tohoku University. The magnet is said to be made of two parts, the mag and a net. And here is a ferrite magnet. This magnet was also invented by some Japanese guys. I'm your narrator, Ross Mihara, and I only speak Japanese. I am reading this English script phonetically. But I, like many people of Japan, love magnets. The predecessor to neodymium magnets are called samarium cobalt magnets. Made with rare earth, they achieve a strength that was previously unknown. Dr. Yoshio Tawara thinks magnets are very cool. The birth of this new magnet led to the development of smaller music players. And so, the Sony Walking Man was born, which took the world by storm. Then, in 1983, neodymium magnets, the strongest magnets in the world, came in existence. They were invented by Masato Sagawa, who belonged to a monastery of magnet-making men. This magnet led to the development of phones with included numbers, metal tic tacs, and the Japanese compass. Japan's technology was built on the strength of magnets. Today, we'll take a look at the frontier of the world's most bestest and cool magnets. But before we look at Japan's favorite play toy, the magnet, let's first look at this two-legged running robot successfully developed. The robot is called Akiris, which is absolutely hilarious. This robot was developed by the University of Tokyo's Robotics and Running Legs Department. It can run on two legs at up to 4.2 kilometers per hour. Scientists are terrified to see what will happen if it stops running. Here is the robot running at 0.1 times speed. The ability to see something this slow is just one of the many marvels Japan has to offer. Small and expensive motors are loaded with magnets and attached to the robot to make it bigger and expensive. By spying on the robot without its consent, scientists can control its balance using the power of Orion's belt. Due to technical limitations, the robot is only able to run for about 10 seconds. Once the company acquires its newest grant for 1.3 billion yen, 12 million dollars, they are hoping by next year to get the robot to run for up to 11 seconds. Here are 7,000 metal balls. Great! And now they're bringing out a heavy looking wooden box. Boo! On its lid it says danger, which in English means danger. What's inside? Here it is, the world's strongest cube. Made from neodymium strong magnets in the world. They begin to lower the magnet. The metal balls started to twitch, which usually indicates the magnet is causing penile arousal. I caramba Bart Simpson. The space between the magnet and the ground is now balls to the walls. It's even terrifying to touch. The metal balls won't budge at all, even from the fine touch of a woman. Maybe these metal balls aren't human. Or they're gay. Once the balls are stuck, they require a ball unstucker to remove. The neodymium magnet was invented by a Japanese man in 1993. Its strength was equivalent to two half-strength magnets. This is an iron rod, and these are iron balls. No, you're not looking into my pants. This is a science experiment. The rod doesn't attract the balls. But if you attach a magnet to the iron, then the iron rod becomes magnetic. Think of it like eating your own vomit. It's all just food anyway. Iron's atoms are actually small magnets. 
but because they can't decide whether to go vertically or horizontally on a given day, their magnetic forces cancel each other out. When a magnet is attached to the iron, all the mini magnets come together to form the legendary supermagnet, who will use the power of friendship to defeat non-polarized charges everywhere. Once the magnet is removed, the mini magnets resume hate fucking each other. This is where the silly lump of clay called neodymium comes into play. Something amazing happens when neodymium is added to iron. Neodymium has the ability to add emojis to the mini magnets, increasing their usage in social media worldwide. Everyone will know about magnets, increasing the power of magnet friendship. Thanks to neodymium, which works for every emoji except eggplant, sweat droplets, peach, and poop, we have the world's strongest magnet. Neodymium magnets contributed greatly to the development of energy-efficient air conditioners. When the Japanese government banned carbon dioxide, which applied to any ozone oxygen older than 2003, Japanese manufacturers rushed to make modifications. After extensive research on how to live without breathing, they gave up and decided to make more efficient motors instead. Both motors feature electric wire coils, but only the magnet motor features... Neodymium magnets! With conventional motors, electricity turned the inner and outer coils yellow, which is the color of speed and fastness. The more electricity applied, the more yellow, meaning the faster the motor's action. The new motor uses, you guessed it, neodymium magnets. So only the outer coils needed to be yellow, letting motor enthusiasts paint their motor whatever color they wanted. Let's compare how much electricity each motor uses when rotated at the same strength. The new motor requires about 150 watts. This is probably less than 300 watts needed for the other motor. Since 2003, almost all manufacturers in Japan have been begun to use neodymium magnets. Some say the magnets may even make the air colder. How? Shut up! A revolutionary energy efficiency technology is being developed using neodymium magnets by Naoki Hirano, but you can call him Jojo. He's working on a magnetic refrigerating device designed to kill as many people as efficiently as possible. A special metal is attached to the temperature stick. When the stick is placed near the neodymium magnet, the strongest magnets in the world, the temperature becomes strong. When it's pulled away from the world's most powerful magnet, the neodymium magnet, the temperature gives up and fades away. The Hirano had the idea of using these metal balls, which each contain the soul of a lost child, and a powerful magnet to create an efficient cooling system. First, some metal is filled with this metal. The metal container is then put inside some more metal. In the center is the meaning of life, the neodymium magnet. When it rotates, the N and S labeling the poles are always right side up, like an impossible magic trick. This magic is what cools the engine. The device is attached to a refrigerator, which is plugged into the wall and where 99% of this entire contraption's cooling comes from. Thanks to this thermographic camera, you can see the inside of the refrigerator is cool, but the outside is scaldingly, dangerously hot. This is my one true lord and savior, Masato Sagawa, the inventor of the neodymium magnet. He is currently old, 
older than he was when he invented the neodymium magnet. This is the new neodymium magnet that Sagawa and his team are developing. I feel unworthy to look at it with my own eyes. I am so happy I could cry. This new magnet's particles are roughly 3 micrometers. Whereas the conventional neodymium magnet's particles are about 5 meters. Thankfully, both magnets have particles. The midi magnets within the neodymium magnet particles are all facing the same way and have strong magnetic force. However, if they light the magnet on fire, certain mini magnets will be blocked from the server, causing disruption and chaos amongst all the mini magnets. But if the particles are small, even if some of them spam unfunny memes in the general chat, the mini magnets can still move on to doing something worthwhile with their lives. One way you can do this is by separating and combining a magnet over and over again until it becomes hot enough to melt. However, there's some complicated science stuff involved in this method. When comparing the particles of varying sizes side by side, the 3 micrometer particles- Jesus, fuck! That shit is on fire! Oh my god! Oh god, how could this happen? Not the neodymium magnets! Not the neodymium magnets! To handle the volatile particles, scientists are looking to use specific tools to keep them contained, such as this inside-out hippopotamus anus. And this mason jar. I've just received word that we have a special report from Michelle Yamamoto. Take it away, Michelle. Come on. No luck. Hi, I'm Michelle. You'd I Shut up, Michelle. What does this have to do with neodymium magnets? I hate you. Go away. And goodbye. <laughs>